What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got some more stuff in this past week which we were waiting on last week. Kind of held us up there a little bit. But we got them in. We're going to get some installed. We kind of got a little late start today so I'll get a little bit installed today and then the rest will get installed tomorrow. Let me show you what we got. So we got in the other PTFE hose that we're going to need for the trans cooler. Once I get that hooked up, I'll be able to fill up the trans cooler with ATF and the transmission and get all that wrapped up on the transmission. I did get in the 90 degree fittings that I needed for the 8A in line. This will go in line here and that'll complete our bulkhead fitting uh, for the return from the engine for the fuel system. I also got in the new uh, turbo oil drain tube here. We'll get that hooked back up to the turbo and we'll get the turbo back installed on top of the engine here. That'll allow us to go ahead and hook everything back up, electrical lines and the intake as well. I was able to find a 19 inch fan on the internet. Now it looks like it is just a 2005, like 2001 to 2005, Duramax engine fan. This looks very similar to that. It just has shorter blades on it. It looks like it might have been professionally cut down and balanced from another company that way. So our fan shroud is right here. As you can tell, it needs a little bit of attention to it. With everything I'm putting back on here being repainted or just refinished, I don't really feel comfortable just putting this directly back on. So I'm going to spend this next week after work kind of working on sanding this down and getting it prepped and painted again so that way it looks good with everything else on there whenever i do install this so that is going to keep me from being able to install the radiator stack this weekend but that is something we can get to next weekend and kind of plumbing up some of the stuff on that as well so let's knock out some of the easiest stuff first and we'll get to making this ptfe hose for the trans cooler and installing that so I almost accidentally put a straight AN fitting on the end of this that's going into the transmission. And really what I need is the 45, but I guess that's what I get for splitting this between the weeks. You kind of forget some things. So I guess I need to refresh myself on where I'm at before I start doing anything. So I bet y'all could see from the video, the camera's having a little bit of issues with the low light in there. It is getting kind of late. So I think I'll call it there for today. I could keep working, but I wouldn't be able to film and I don't want to do that to y'all. So I'm going to cut it there today and I will see y'all tomorrow, which is just a second for y'all. All right guys, it's the next day. This is that line that we worked on yesterday. This is that one that has the nylon wrapping over the top of the stainless steel braid. It is still just a 10 a.m. PTFE hose that we're running to that trans cooler. But we have that now ran. We have the 90 degree on the back there. And up front we have a 45 going into the transmission. So these are getting a little close together here. So I'm going to figure out a way of mounting these to where it keeps one off the other. It shouldn't really matter if it rubs a little bit, but 
if I can minimize any rubbing, uh, that'll be great. I also went ahead and installed the 90 degree 8AN. This is that fuel return line from the engine. Uh, this right now isn't connected to anything. This is just kind of a placeholder. But I need to get the fuel cooler mounted up on the front before I can actually measure off how long I need to cut this to and install the fitting in the back and get that all screwed in. So let's get to our next part. I think I'm going to work on mounting up the turbo now. So with the new turbo oil drain tube, it came with a couple of new gaskets as well as the new studs for the back of the engine. The the port that's there, uh, the new bolts to go into the turbo. So I'm going to go ahead and install the studs on the back of the engine and then we'll get to mounting up the tube to the new turbo and then we'll lift it onto the engine. guys we have the turbocharger installed the mount bolts are torqued down to 80 foot pounds the oil drain on the bottom here those are tightened down to 18 foot pounds we went ahead and connected up our wiring that it's not focusing we went ahead and connected up our wiring back to the harness now the oil feed we're going to reroute down here to the front passenger side of the block and it should be this port right there if it'll focus. It's not going to. Should be that port right there. So we're going to be pulling that plug and installing the little fitting to go to our oil feed line. that running right now kind of runs up in front there kind of by this mount here I think I'll probably put a hole down here just also to try to keep it off the frame it'd be a little bit better if I had a 45 degree fitting on there so I may try to find one of those so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that turbo intake off of there and just order an aftermarket one. Uh, I don't really, I want to do the resonator delete and everything on it and I'd rather not just have the resonator plug on there. So I'll probably just order one of those and when I get it in I'll install that. So I'm actually just going to leave this exhaust downpipe plugged up for now until I can get to modifying the downpipe. On this installation, we're going to have the downpipe go on the driver's side over there instead of the passenger side over here as it did on the original vehicle. Uh, I will go ahead and mount up the up pipes on here. So let's get to that.
So on these turbocharger bolts and exhaust bolts for these up pipes, don't forget to apply anti-seize to them or they may be a little difficult to get off later or even install in the first place. So I went ahead and mounted up the alternator and AC compressor again. That allowed me to run the serpentine belt. Now I went ahead and took off the fan again just because it's easier to run that serpentine belt when that is off. But I did put that back on and actually tighten it down. So now the front of the engine there should be all wrapped up and ready for us to continue. So guys, I'm hoping by next week I'll have that radiator shroud painted and ready to install. That'll allow us to start working on that radiator stack, get the radiator installed, the intercooler, mount up that fuel cooler, which will allow us to finish up the fuel lines up to the front there. Uh, we'll go ahead and install the power steering cooler as well, the power steering fluid cooler as well. Uh, but I'm not ready to mount those lines up yet. Uh, we may go ahead and mount up the AC condenser up front as well and possibly the electric fan up front as well but we won't know that until we kind of get into the stack and kind of get it oriented I think I have the orientation that I want on there but we'll see whenever we get it installed on there I know we didn't get quite as much done this weekend as we have some of the other weekends but we have a lot to come on this if you like this content please hit that like button if you want to see these videos as they come out please hit that subscribe button Hit that bell icon as well, that way you're notified whenever they do come out. I try to put them out around Wednesdays, but sometimes uh, my weeks may push me back a little bit or whatever. But I appreciate y'all watching, guys. And as always, I'll see y'all next time.